Great 1v1 against Mata. Dazzle's still looking for a player right in the middle of sight, right in the middle of Cubby. Tens is slowed and he's getting shot darted, but he's somehow still alive. All three players for Sentinel safe in the middle of sight. And there's time to reset here as well. Tens has picked up the Vandal. And same thing with Zelsius. He now has a Phantom. And he has an ultimate to play with here. They can shut down all these flashes from Tink, but they're taking the swings. He, oh, he gets the one for free, but Shroud is back with a classic of all things. There goes the spray from Shroud. All of them walk into his crosshair, and it's a thrifty for Sentinels. This is looking good here for Shopify. Strong postman util. And then again. Oh, oh no. no! Shazam lines up two. Tito, both Mata and Tig. Here comes the rush in. Sentinels have the man advantage. Make that a two man advantage. Shroud picking up another one. We still have the man over towards Dish, and it's only the man in Dish. Shroud picking up two on the retake. Moose. Winning out these first duels. And that sends Sentinels reeling. Yes, they've got the firepower, but now they're kind of losing it. And yeah, now this is so awkward for all these players from Sentinels. Where did he even go? Do they fight? Yes, they do. Tens and Shroud alone both find 1v1s. But there goes Tens. Here comes Dapper. Dapper needs to split his attention to mid. b Dog coming in. Could save the round still, but he uses the last shot of his headhunter right when Dapper... The defensive side was a little bit choppy. Well, I'm going to be completely honest. It is, it's, it's so clean. Eight rounds now, and the spike has only gone down once. Match point. And this is a return to form a little bit now for We'll see how they can delay. And these mollies from Trout are perfect. Gets them both out before he gets qualified. Yep. TP into the back. Dapper holding back Mata though. And here comes Shroud. The big combo between Dapper and Shroud. Going massive. Three kills going their way with Shroud getting both of them. And Dapper. Dapper with a triple in the back lines. Double digits for Sentinel. Shopify had no chance going. Round win. b Dog has wiggled his way up. Halls. Not able to oh. find anything though. It's a problem. Again, clearing out B, just checking for anyone at the mouth and tens, peeking out towards mid, shutting down Mata, and there's a timing for B Dog. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, uh, timing for Shroud at least to take down yeah. B Dog, that was. Info off the drone, gives it a free kill. Oh, Dapper. Out even left. further. Tens will try tens. and reclear and work towards mid. B Dog? Is he wary? I think he's heard the footsteps and Tens wow. has given up his life again. So tough for Tens, but again, the footsteps gave it away. B Dog had a big opportunity at a 1v1 against Shazam, but he misses out. Tig once again, yet another knife that goes big. Tig has to check his left, though. Celsius ready and raring to go. Finds the first. But will he actually get the kills? What a trade for Moose. Shroud, 1v2! Oh! Shroudy going rowdy and a Red Bull clutch! Simply said, it's Shroud who pulls it out. Shopify Rebellion. Round win. b Dog has wiggled his way up. Halls. Not able to find oh. anything, though. It's a problem. Again, clearing out B. Just checking for anyone at the mouth and tens. Peeking out towards mid. Shutting down Mana. And there's a timing for b Dog. <gasps> okay. Yeah, no. Uh, timing for Shroud, at least, to take down yeah. b Dog. that was. Info off the drone. Gives it a free kill. Oh, Dapper... This is a little weird now. Shroud, the Viper's Pit hold. He's putting all of this effort into this now. The spray could work out so, so well for him. And indeed it does. The transfer gets three. B-Dog and Moose trying to get into sight. They still have the Tour de Force to work with. And now they restrict it actually to a 3v2. Moose getting revealed. The nade's going to go out for Zelsus. And Zelsus is in such a difficult position. He has to peek the back of sight. And Shazam is going to be there to take him out. And takes down B-Dog too to watch main tower and towards arcade tig dapper is so so low and he just can't get a body shot dapper what a finish to that round getting two kills with 10 hp and it's ridiculous it is ridiculous five rounds in a row they've won and five rounds they've gotten the spike down towards b main Oh, not at all. It's just going to be a free sight here. So the Neon, he can just keep stretching out towards spawn. That's exactly what Zelsus does. Easy peasy against Dazzle. And no, no tens. Finding two free kills again on the Mata and Moose. Both of them on their way out. A good kill from B-Dog, though. He, he was flashed. Two players remaining for Shopify. But wow, what a tragedy in those back lines. Yeah, as ready as you can be for the fast play of Sentinels, you cannot, you surely are not expecting else just to slide through your own spawn into canteen and that sentinels again three rounds in a row three first kill oh down and tens is gonna pivot back towards dish despite the rolling thunder stunning most of these players actually wow. maybe just the one tens the head peaked on over 
That slowdown is gonna catch out Moose. This is unfair. That is a, a ridiculous placement on the fragment grenade. And just like that, Sentinels, the former kings of North America, they're on match point in the lower bracket. Oh, I I can't believe that combo. Wow, that is Who are some these guys? Th that's insane Who are they? placement. This is not the Sentinels that we've been watching this year. It just this isn't. I refuse to believe. And I'll tell you, I had a lot of questions, a lot of doubts that Sentinels could compete against a team that played like Shopify, a team that had a little bit more tempo compared to the guard. And I'll be honest, Sentinels have dealt with it almost flawlessly between these two maps. And on their attacking side, they as well, only letting one around slip through to Shopify Rebellion and B Dog. That's the op, and that's all they've got carried over into the second match point they've had to face. And he doesn't even get it. Doesn't even get it. Sentinels are reborn and they are on match point. Big shot for Moose as he takes down tens. Now it's a 1v2. Dazzle sees his teammate go down. But Dazzle still has one flash to use and an aftershock. Spike in front of him. Zelsis peeks out. 10 HP remaining here for Dazzle. How on earth does he handle this? The aftershock, yes, it goes through, and it actually does cover up the spike just a little bit. Zelsis, not patient enough, but he comes back with a third kill of the round. Sentinels, they strike first in defense. And they've got it. They've got a chance now, Sentinels. Both teams have not had a success here. That's hard to say, dude, hey, if that can even be replicated. That was only the second retake of overtime so far, both of them being pulled off in the last two rounds. Look at this fight. Look at this fight. Three players here and only two here for oh, Sentinels. But Zelsis, oh, he's dying. Oh Zelsis! my goodness. Get him That's three right for Zelsis. He connects all the dots. Mata and take the last two remaining, but Mata skates on out. Would you believe it? He doesn't get checked the there. Right around the smoke. He plays it expertly. And again, Sentinel. <laughs> he's got an aftershock too. Shroud. Not only still left. has another smoke, but one more, one more kill, and he'll get his ulti. There goes the ulti. What? How much one HP did Mana ready. have going through that? Shroud now has ulti. Mana, 20 HP. It is borderline impossible for Mana. 15 seconds left. Swings out. Mike Tyson survives win. at the end, and Sentinels win a best of three in VCT. Would you believe it, Sentinels?